Hey everyone, it's Zoftal here. So, I've noticed lately that a couple people have asked me to make some breakdown videos on a couple of my tracks, so that's where I am now. So, as you guys may or may not know, there's this VTuber called Milk and Banana. Now, his content's great, you should totally go subscribe to him. But, um, anyways, he challenged me to make a pirate themed song for like a GD level, and I followed through and here's the song so let's start all right so the basics of this everything in this project file well most things except the drums right it's all created by me but there's a couple of my friends that did provide some presets for me to use but I did modify them to an extent so uh, let's start off so the beginning sounds like this So you hear how, that, how that's a flute, right? The flute basically, um, I don't know why, but whenever I load in the certain plugin for like the orchestral sounds, it like replaces it with like the, the default sound, which is the flute. So this is actually what it sounds like. I mean, I could go back and fix it, but I have to do it every time I load up the project. All right, so the beginning sounds, the those are like the background ambience for the first part. This is actually a really horrible sound. If I make this unique and set it to its original pitch. Uh, loudness warning to any of you watching. Yeah, it's really, it's a really bad noise. I basically created that. And um, because me and my friends were joking around, so we decided to like compete to make the worst possible sound and that's what I came up with. But apparently pitched up it sounds like this and with some delay. Oh, oh that's a sub bass. And some reverb. Pitched down it sounds like a whale. It's it's scary, just listen to this. Dude, is that scary? It literally sounds like a whale. I don't know how, but it just does. I mean, it's like the coolest thing in the world. So anyways, let's get to the meat of the song. Then it goes like... Oh yeah, by the way, I did record some clips of him talking. So here's him saying yarg. Yarg! And then here's a clip of him laughing. <laughs> and that's the transition into the... the Basically the intro. Well, not the intro, but... I'd say the midsection, but it's kind of like a, not it's not really a drop. It's kind of like a breakdown. <laughs> so basically, we got chords. Ba very simple chords. And then there's this really nice lead. I tried my best with that, and then I had the uh, bass design right here. <laughs> then I had pretty thick bass design. Have some milk and banana while you're at it. There's him saying, "Have some milk and banana while you're at it." Have some milk and banana while you're at it. And here's a midsection. Then I copied and pasted the arp to go. Basically loop throughout this whole entire section. It's great background ambience, and with the side chain, the bass is like. Oh wait, what? Just uh, had some drums here. But it, it's pretty. By the way, if you don't know what this is, this is called side chaining. It is a uh, side chaining is the process of ducking a sound, like cutting out the volume and bringing it back in slowly when the drum hits. So say kick, like you can hear that. It's called ducking, basically. But it it's another term for it. Oh yeah, also in this section 
I did change up the music. And then here's a breakdown. This is kind of like the pre-intro. This is kind of like the intro. And here's a breakdown section. So basically I have this really, really like F777 type lead going on here with a plux and the lead. Yeah, that, that basically transitions into the this part. But. but as you can hear, there's some background ambience here. Believe it or not, this is actually him talking about how like he was playing a game. And this was uh, MB talking about how his game was lagging. So basically, if without all the effects, it sounds like this. I'm terrible, terrible. It was... So basically, what I did with this is I pitched it up to, uh, well, I pitched up the, inv like, made them unique and pitched up individual samples just to make it uh, on key with the actual music. But um, the effects, it sounds like this. It was, it was lag, it was lag. So, but the real cool part is, is when I added the uh, the Vox effects from Effector and some reverb, it sounds pretty freaking cool. Kind of like Daft Punk in a way, but eh, not really. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm Very, very good uh, background ambience. For that. Basically, in this part, this is the transition into the four bar buildup, and then it goes into the drop. So, in here, I, I, this is kind of unheard in the actual track, but it's still there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> some laughing, I just pitched it up a bunch. But, um, I actually recorded him saying, MB, want to hear a cool song, and what a coincidence, because I made a song. But, um, what I did is I pitched it up and made it like a riser to go into the drop. MB, you want to hear a cool song? So, yeah, and then I have the the main lead transition into the the drop section. Then the drop. What's a song without a good drum fill? Huh? So basically, I had this going on in the background too. So this is where I did lots of sound design. This is the main part. I did the sound design in this drop for the song. So, okay, so we got this, which is like the, the, the first hit sound, and then the second one, which is right here. And then we got the... That's a nutty sound. That sound is crazy. And then here's another layer on top of that. And we got the... So... So, the reason why it doesn't pitch up there, well, I mean, it's supposed to, but we have uh, pitch automation, so it's like... So we got... Oh yeah, we also got chord progression in the background. And here's 
second section of the drop, which is the. Uh, second section. Change up the beat a little bit in the second half of the drop. In the arps too, the... the There's a drum fill normally. I don't know why it's not there. I mean, I think that that might be the one that I use. I'm not sure though. Let's see. So, this is the part where Electrify hooked me up. So, if you guys may or may not know Electrify GD, he's a great commentator for like GD videos. Uh, the latest one I believe he uploaded was the GD Iceberg video. That was a really good video. I really enjoy his content. He, and if you guys didn't know, he's also a music producer, so he does the same stuff. So he made this, the growl here. In this. this one too, this. The sound you hear right here. You hear right there, that's actually modified off of uh, Electrify's growl. So it's pretty cool. And then we got. And then it goes into the second part. Oh, yeah. Then we. In this part, I added a, cor a chorus. And then the lead in the back. Yeah, there's the outro, and that's the whole song, and I put a random scream at the end here just for the hell of it. <laughs> but yeah, that's the whole song. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this track breakdown video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I hope in the future I can make stuff that you guys can learn from and probably take and use for your advantage, like in music and whatnot. Um, but stay tuned for more, because I will be uploading more track breakdown videos soon, so stay tuned. And anyways, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys later.